Ciao a tutti and welcome to this new episode of SVN channel. This episode builds on a previous one where we demonstrated how it's pretty straightforward to train a transformer to classify images. If you haven't watched it, you can find it here. However, we discovered that a vision transformer lacks of all that priors that a convolutional neural network has, such as a translation invariance and locality. And that's a problem, especially if you want to use a vision transformer for a small dataset. So in this episode, we'll see how to combine the convolution neural networks and the transformers in a hybrid architecture that exploits the advantage of the two words. And Vittorio, and welcome to SPN Channel. As we've seen in the last episode, that's the overarchitecture of a VIT network. An image is split in n batches of size p by p, and then practically they are directly fed to the transformer encoder. On the contrary, the idea of a hybrid vision transformer is of preprocessing an input image with a convolutional neural network. The CNN progressively reduces the spatial dimension of the input image and produces an output tensor of dimension WL times HL times FL. That's the number of features of the last layer. And practically that's it. The rest of the network is identical to the one of the previous episode. We can fetch the output tensor of the backbone network, linearly project them to the dimension of the model, attach a classification token to the resulting sequence, and finally add a positionality formation to all vectors. Then the transformer encoder makes interact all these objects together and embeds as much information into the classification token. Finally, we can discard all the object sequence except the classification token, feed it into a classification head, and obtain the final multi nulli estimation. And that's all for this hybrid architecture, but let's quickly see how to implement it with the TensorFlow 2 framework. I made this notebook that as always you can find in the description below, where I simply added to the Vision Transformer a backbone. And to do that, I simply used the, the Keras Applications API that lets you download and reuse a lot of different pre-trained models. In this case, I used the Efficient Net B3 model, that it's a, a good compromise between accuracy and the computational resources. Okay, let's start downloading uh, the network. Uh, it's a very big network. Uh, you can see how many layers. Uh, really a lot. Not trainable because I don't want it to train this uh, very big network. Uh, and then what I have to do is simply to pass all input images for the backbone, uh, like uh, this. And that's all because the rest of the code is the same. I can create my vision transformer, hybrid vision transformer, uh, compile it and uh, start the training. Yes. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and to see you for the next episode of SVN channel.